weather is getting warmer. Nothing scorching anyways currently. And what did I read today? How about this one? Where, as you know, in a lot of places they're trying to replace fireworks with things like drone light shows. But there's just been so many stories recently of drone shows not performing, I guess, as expected. How about this one? This one says, SeaTac's $40,000 drone show fails. Fireworks save the day. Residents pack into SeaTac's Angle Lake Park on the 4th of July to enjoy the festivities and await the drone light show only to be disappointed. In March, the city made the decision to cancel the traditional fireworks show over Angle Lake due to a legal interpretation of a 1932 Washington State Supreme Court ruling. Amid the disappointment felt by the community, the Angle Lake Short Club made the decision to put on a privately funded fireworks show in tandem with a drone light show planned by the city. As night fell and residents settled in, it became apparent that the show was being delayed. The drone show was scheduled to go first, but as the night crept past the start time, the skies remained empty and dark. Fuzz Hill, media manager of Angle Lake Short Club and coordinator of the fireworks show, said he spoke with the fire marshal and was told the drone operator was having technical difficulties. At that time, Hill was given the authorization to start the fireworks show. So I suppose with that, they just assume, okay, technical difficulties, we just go first, so hopefully they would go after. But it says, as the last of the sparkles died down, there was a further delay of several minutes before the drones could be seen glowing blue in the sky. The drones appeared to be attempting to form the image of an American flag, but before the image could fully form, the drones began falling from the sky. Imagine that, huh? And apparently there were videos of people capturing this happening. It was over the water, it seems like, with the drones. Many of the confused onlookers first thought the dripping effect of the falling drones was part of the show. However, as more and more drones began to fall, it became clear the show was a technical failure. It is estimated the drone show cost the city $40,000 according to Hill. That is twice the amount typically spent on the traditional fireworks show. It is unknown at this time if the city will get any kind of refund for the tobacco. That's kind of interesting with that topic of money again when it comes to holding a drone light show, kind of like the one here in Canada, that area, if you guys remember, where people were disappointed it wasn't in full 3D and all that, but it was pretty expensive. And it, I guess this kind of shows again, are we actually ready to replace fireworks with drone shows? Obviously, there's bigger companies from what you can see around the world, for example, it looks really spectacular. But it seems like a lot of people are trying to jump on it, I guess, too fast without being fully prepared. That's what it seems like anyways. And with that thought, it sounds like there was this international expo of sort with drone industry players where they're asking for policy changes around the world. This one says, drone industry calls for a favorable policies increase incentives at international expo. In a significant gathering at the Drone International Expo 2024 in Delhi, key players in the drone industry voiced their demands for more favorable policies, increased incentives, and the development of a robust component ecosystem within India. The event, which coincides with the International Police Expo 2024, has brought together over 200 national and international drone manufacturers, showcasing cutting-edge innovations from more than 25 countries. Industry experts emphasize the critical need for government support to foster indigenization in the rapidly growing drone sector. According to Statista, the Indian drone market is projected to generate revenues of USD 27 million in 2024, with a compound annual growth rate of 5.96% expected through 2028. Ms. Sandararach, Executive Director of Infinity Arsenal PVT LTD, highlighted the importance of creating a conducive environment for domestic component and technology manufacturing, saying, quote, we need more investment in R&D of flight controllers, motors, batteries, and various other components. And as well, they say there's not enough skilled drone pilots. And it says a spokesperson from IdeaForge emphasized the high skill level required for piloting complex drones, suggesting that the government should look into how to make that field far from lucrative for pilots and aspiring pilots who want to get into this industry. The expo, which runs for two days, is not only a platform for showcasing technological advancement, but also highlights the integral role of drones in modernizing India's counterterrorism and law enforcement capabilities. It makes me wonder, in terms of them saying there's not enough drone pilots, you need to be, for example, really skilled. A lot of the drones nowadays, in terms of these ones I see for commercial use anyways, they're fully automated in many ways. Unless you're flying something like an FPV drone, I can see 
That, for example, requires way more skill versus something that you would see, for example, like a typical DJI drone, for example. So it makes me wonder what would be the reason for the lack of people getting into the industry, I guess, in that regards. Because in terms of skill difficulty, I don't think flying, let's just say, a DJI drone for the most part, like a Matrice or something, even like those big ones, is as complicated as flying an actual airplane or helicopter or even say something compared to driving a car so I wouldn't see why they would lack people in that regards as I don't think the barrier to entry is as big technically anyways it's more about regulations and having to understand a lot of stuff that has nothing to do with flying drones at least here anyways All right, see you guys later.